Mr. Margoli. Action. Hi, Ms. Davies. Thank you for being here with us today. It's my pleasure. Okay. We have some questions based on the 10-year visa agreement that w went to effect between China and Canada. And so my first question is, what were the considerations behind setting up this visa agreement? Well, starting last fall, we had uh, many people come to our office and, and tell us that they had heard that the United States and China had uh, come to a reciprocal agreement to allow citizens 10-year multiple entry visas uh, for tourism and business and five-year multiple entry visas for students. Uh, we also knew that Canada, about a year ago, uh, gave Chinese nationals coming to Canada the privilege of 10-year multiple entry visas, but Canadians here in Canada, Canadian citizens, had to apply for limited visas each and every time they went to China. So we thought that it would be an excellent policy to propose to give Canadian citizens the same rights that American and Chinese citizens enjoyed. Um, does it does it also intend with like the cost? Like, is it um, a cultural exchange between countries as well? Yeah, there's many benefits to the to the multiple entry visas. First of all, it's good for business. So uh, it's, it makes it much easier for Canadian business people going to China to take advantage of opportunities and, and conduct their business. It's also good for families uh, who have relatives still in China. They can go back and forth uh, much more easily. But it's also excellent for cultural and tourist exchanges. Uh, you know, the more people that can move easy, more easily between the two countries, the better it is. And we just found m very popular reaction to our proposal. Um, now, it was recently reported that the Japanese economy received a huge boost because Chinese tourists spent a total of six billion U.S. dollars in Japan during the Spring Festival holiday. Do you expect the 10-year visa to bring economic benefits from the increased business travel and tourism? Absolutely. I think there's going to be significant economic benefits uh, to Canada and Canadians as a result of this. Uh, it, the one thing it does is it allows Canadians to travel more easily to China, but the more exchange there is between the two countries, the more we will encourage and attract Chinese interest in Canada. And the more Chinese interest we have in Canada, the more tourist dollars, the more economic benefits will flow to Canada. So I expect us to have uh, uh, billions of dollars, I think, over time in increased activity as a result of this change. How much will it cost to apply for the visa? Well, that's up to the Chinese government. Uh, currently, uh, prior to the 10-year visa, a Canadian citizen had to apply separately each and every time they went to China. I think the visas were good for six months or one year, and it cost about $100, I think, every time they did it. Now, they will be able to apply once for a 10-year multiple entry visa. We don't know the cost yet, but absolutely it will be cheaper and more affordable for Canadians than it was before. And um, do you know the, uh, the application process? How, how long is the application process? Like, do, are there plans to reduce the time? Well, we don't know that yet. The, the visa was just announced uh, to be implemented a few weeks ago. Um, I expect it to be very streamlined. The Chinese embassy has been quite efficient and the consulates across Canada in, in processing visa applications but um, I expect that the efficiency will, will remain the same. And since its effect, um, has a lot of people begun to apply for the visa already? Yes, yes. I've, I've heard from many people already who have called our office and written us to thank us for our work on proposing this 10-year uh, visa, and they've told me that they've already started applying. Have there been any problems that have kind of come up with this new visa agreement? I haven't heard of any yet. And um, now that you've been success successful in getting this program set up, what are your thoughts? Well, you know, I'm very pleased that the government adopted our proposal. Uh, I think it shows what can happen when you have a, a strong opposition that is proposing a popular policy. Um, I think Canadians want their political parties to work together uh, for the betterment of the Canadian citizens. And this is an example where you know a good proposal by the New Democrats was listened to by the Conservative government. We worked together and we achieved it. And I think that Canadians want to see more of this kind of cooperation that benefits our citizens and our economy. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that it was passed. 
Um, let's talk about the process of getting this agreement set up. Was there any single events that were important in the process or that seemed really significant to you? I, I think it was a series of significant events. Uh, again, this came to our attention back in November. Our office here in Vancouver Kingsway, we deal with thousands of immigration cases a year and we started to hear from people um, over the last six months that they had this barrier of traveling to China, this single entry visa. And they, they told us that Americans and Chinese nationals had tenure visas and why couldn't they? So that was a very important event for me to bring that to my attention. I then drafted a petition. I was the first MP in the country that had a petition on tenure visas and I sent it to MP offices across the country. So they started to present thousands of petitions in the House of Commons in, uh, in January and February. And then I drafted a motion, Motion 558, which I introduced in Parliament um, to bring to Parliament's attention this issue. I think all of those events uh, contributed to bringing this attention to the, uh, bringing this issue to the attention of the government. And I think each one of them uh, had a special impact on the government and they responded by bringing in uh, the visas in March. If you can, can you tell us of future goals you want to accomplish for Canada and China travel or visa programs? Uh, well, per, yes. In particular, I, I would like to see the process for um, families here in Canada to bring their relatives over to visit uh, or employers here to bring skilled workers over. I would like that uh, made it much faster. Uh, the Canadian immigration system is far too slow. And I think Canadians want and need a faster, fairer, and more efficient immigration system. And right now it is, uh, it, it is simply uh, unbelievably slow. I just came before this uh, interview from visiting a 91-year-old man born in Hong Kong who's trying to bring his grandson here to visit him. And he's ill, the, gra the grandfather's ill, and uh, he's been waiting years and he's had two rejections and this is the kind of thing that we have to improve so that we can uh, help Canadian citizens, particularly those that have relatives in, in China, um, you know, get the visas that they need much faster. What's stopping this though? Like, what is the main issue towards the low immigration? Uh, well, basically I think it's a combination of, of factors. Uh, I think the Canadian immigration system it doesn't have the resources that it needs to process applications faster, uh, quickly and efficiently. Um, I think the system needs to be computerized much more efficiently. And I think that Canadian embassies abroad have to, uh, they have to develop the systems that are needed to process these applications much quicker. You know, it takes uh, sometimes two or three years to get a citizenship application processed. It takes seven to ten years to sponsor your parent or grandparent to come to Canada. Businesses who need people quickly have to wait years to get uh, the workers they need. This is unacceptable uh, in 2015 in Canada and, and there's no, no reason that it can't be improved. And finally, what do you feel the role that you as a member of parliament should play in strengthening China and Canada relations? Well, I have a particularly a particular interest in this matter. The riding I represent is uh, about almost 40% uh, comprised of people of Chinese heritage. Uh, you know, whether that's from PRC or uh, from the Republic of China or from Singapore uh, or Hong Kong, we have a very, very rich representation of, of Chinese uh, Canadians. And uh, so I take it as a special uh, privilege and a special obligation for me to try to learn as much as I can about the political, economic, cultural, and social issues between our countries and to strengthen those relations. And uh, we have a number of ways that we're trying to do that. And I, I hope to continue to have more accomplishments like the 10-year visa over the years ahead. Thank you very much for taking your time out to speak with us. Thank you so much for your time. All right.